Hello YouTube. Um, <laughs> I just realized I've been uploading on TikTok so much that I have not uploaded on YouTube in at least three weeks. So, uh, I guess just a general update, if you will. Um, I I I got well, I I got I got a 3D printer. You can see the TikTok live down there. Um, got a 3D printer, and well, I've been busy. This is a uh, HO scale 100 ton 100 ton hopper car kit. Um, literally all you have to do is add screws, K couplers, and metal wheels, and you're good to go with these. Um, this one turned out a little meh, as you can see there, but, you know, working on settings and such, they'll get better. Um, I also printed out the shell. In reality, it's about 12 scale feet shorter than the real prototype, but it's meant to fit on these Athern 72 foot coach RTR chassis like so that'll probably be my only one uh not entirely sure maybe i'll do more i don't know um i have never bought an eight and a re-railer of any kind before and i still haven't so i printed one um yeah works fine see the spots for your tracks there and then a signal tower so this one is one i'm currently working on um i used file i used three different files um a file for the bridge itself it's it's like a 110 scale rc car uh start finish line light bridge um that i scaled down the crap out of and it i scaled it down to just fit um uh double stack containers like it barely clears but it will clear um and this is not the finished product at obviously i actually have one we also have cork on the end scale layout. I'll talk more about that in a different video. Um, but here's a finished one. It it's it, the span is just big enough for two tracks, really. See the signals there. The signals are honestly just what I could find. Um, there is a. I didn't print out some of these, but I need a smaller nozzle to try and print those out better. Um, so maybe we'll see, not entirely sure. But yeah, that's mostly what I've been up to. Um, just modifying stuff here and there, not modifying, but upgrading HO scale stuff here and there. Been doing some end scale work with my father, um, been printing some stuff, and then working, eating, and sleeping. So. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, I don't think YouTube has seen the DCC stuff yet. So we got this here, right? This goes to this panel. This panel is for the end scale. This panel is for the end scale. We will have proper fascia here in a little bit. So these are just in there temporary. That's why I don't care that the screws are in the wood because they'll just get covered up. Um, but basically for the moment, these end scale panels are connected to the power cab, which is just over here on the shelf. So the power cab right now is for the end scale stuff and the uh, SB5 is working again. So we got the SB5 cable coming over here to this panel that's just clamped to a leg for the moment. And uh, that is what is powering the uh, HO stuff down here since there's a lot more power draw going on down here uh, and then last but not least I got my hands on a cab 04 for a whopping 20 bucks and I took that I, I thought about it for an hour or so and then I'm like you know what yeah I'm gonna do it um, it just gives me a fifth throttle along with something cheap that I can hand to someone who does not really know what they're doing and say here have at it right so uh, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's any more. Um, we're also live on YouTube right now as well. That's that's a more direct view of 3D printer, which just finished a print. More signals. Alrighty. That's it for this video. I uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. See you later.